did Kaylee and Maddie know that their lives were possibly in danger before these crimes occurred? Hey everyone, it's Lucky with Unfiltered Lucky. And today I want to talk about the last hours that led up to these Idaho 4 crimes that took place in the early morning hours of November 13th of last year, 2022. I'm going to be talking about Maddie and Kaylee in this video because their final evening was pretty well documented. So we know basically what Maddie and Kaylee were doing just hours before their lives were taken. But we don't really know exactly what was happening around them. Because we're looking at photo images. So I want to walk through from the time that Maddie and Kaylee were at the corner club until the time that they returned to the house. Now, we know that Maddie and Kaylee were at the Corner Club, and we also know that they spent the majority of their evening at the Corner Club. Now, there is security footage that verifies this, and this footage also kind of verifies some of the people who were around them during the course of this evening. So, in this photo, this is a photo of a security monitor that is security footage from the corner club. And it shows Kaylee and Maddie talking. Uh, they're having a conversation with someone. And then there's some guys off to their right. And what you see in this picture is Jack S basically just kind of hanging around. He's not really part of the group. He's just kind of lingering in the background. Just kind of hanging off to the side. Now, we know that they did have drinks at the Corner Club. We don't know how many drinks, but we do know that when they left the Corner Club, that they were fairly intoxicated. Now... The Corner Club is also where Maddie apparently told everything to Adam. Now, we don't know if Maddie said this within a group, if they were all in a group when she was talking to Adam about everything, or if she pulled Adam aside and maybe talked to him in private. And, I mean, it would make sense that she would tell him everything because she felt like somebody else needed to know. So, that's just my opinion. So, the Corner Club is where they spent the majority, the majority of their evening and where they were drinking and where Maddie shared this information with Adam. Now, they leave the corner club and then they're seen on video walking down the street toward the grub truck. Now, as they're walking, a, a security camera picks them up, a security camera, camera with audio, and you can see them walking and again, you know, they're just, it just looks like three people walking down the street. Nothing out of the ordinary. But again, you see Jack S in this picture. So now Jack S has left the corner club with Maddie and Kaylee, who didn't really seem to be paying attention to him at all at the corner club. But now he's walking back, now he's walking to the grub truck 
with Maddie and Kaylee. Now, Kaylee asks Maddie, what did you tell Adam? So Kaylee realizes that Maddie said something to Adam or told Adam something. And it must be important enough that she's curious what Maddie told Adam. Now, is she curious because of the subject matter or is she curious just because, just to make small talk? To me, when she asked this question, to me, it, it, it signifies that that Maddie has possibly talked about some information to Adam. And now Kaylee is asking her, what exactly did you tell Adam? Now, Maddie basically says, I told Adam everything. So, everything about what? Now, it could be speculated that she was just talking maybe about her relationship with her boyfriend or something that was happening in the house that has nothing to do with these crimes. But it's what Jack S. says afterward that is very telling. I've listened to the audio and I know that there's some, I know that there's some discrepancies in which some people believe that Jack S. said, they're going to get you, Maddie. And when I listen to the audio, I feel like Jack S. says, I feel like I'm hearing, we're going to get you, Maddie, with some mumbling kind of in the background. So if this was just about a boyfriend that Maddie was talking to Adam about or something ins insignificant, why would Jack S., respond with we're going to get you Maddie so to me this tells me that Jack also knows the information that Maddie shared with Adam because Jack obviously knows what they're talking about now I would have to believe having this conversation, I believe this is a very significant conversation. There's very few words spoken in this conversation. But Jack S.'s response is what leads me to believe that this was a little more serious than just talking about your boyfriend or your relationship. I feel like this is a very important conversation because Jack S. says, we're going to get you, Maddie. And then two and a half hours later, Maddie's life is taken. That's a very odd coincidence, a very odd coincidence, in my opinion. So, they walk to the grub truck, and they arrive at the grub truck, and Jack S. is still with them, and again, he's just kind of lingering in the background. He's not really part of this group. He's not part of the group. It's almost like he's there uninvited. They're not really paying any attention to him. It's almost like he's it's almost like he's there uninvited. It doesn't appear that they really want him there. Now, at the grub truck, it is kind of strange that Jack S is just kind of standing around watching them. He does chat with a few people, but he's Focused on them. He's watching them. He's, 
he's just standing in the background, just kind of shadowing them. And that does seem odd to me because just watching that video seems like an awkward situation. So I can imagine that maybe it felt kind of awkward for Kaylee and Maddie because it doesn't appear as though they really wanted him there. Now, at the grub truck is when you can really notice that Maddie appears to be, in my opinion, more intoxicated than Kaylee. She's walking around. She's she's walking right in front of people while they're talking to other people and, you know, walking in between people. And just the way that she's carrying herself, she does seem to be rather intoxicated. Now, at one point at the grub truck, Jack S. is talking to this gentleman who also did an interview and uh, talked about the conversation that he had with Jack. Now, he explains that he felt like Jack S. was a very pleasant guy and that uh, Jack S. had told him that he was basically kind of acting as a guardian for these two girls. And because, because what he said was that they were super drunk. So that's why he was watching over them. They, they do appear to be intoxicated, but I don't believe that they were super drunk. Super drunk you know, super intoxicated enough where they didn't know what they were doing or, or you know, were just sloppy intoxicated. You know, you they've had some drinks. But Jack tells this gentleman who, this gentleman also did a an interview about his interaction with Jack S. So, um... And if you want to look that up, I believe I believe his name was Joe Vito. And he describes Jack S. as very pleasant, basically just saying that he's watching out over these girls. Now, it doesn't appear that these girls really want to be watched out over by Jack S. But he just continues to linger in the background. It's almost kind of creepy. The way that he's kind of just hanging around. Now, at one point at the grub truck, it looks like Kaylee is acting like she's taking a selfie. But you can almost tell that she's taking a picture over her shoulder. And over her shoulder is Jack S., So, is it possible that Kaylee was texting with some, someone and took a picture, took a picture over her shoulder, acting as though she was taking a selfie of herself, but took a picture over her shoulder of Jack S. And maybe Jack S. saw that. The girls were intoxicated, so maybe Kaylee did this and didn't realize that Jack S noticed that she did this because why else would you do that unless you were planning on sending this picture to somebody and Kaylee might be saying this guy's driving us crazy this guy has been following us around all night following us around all night so after the grub so at the end of the grub truck uh, of the grub truck footage, Kaylee and Maddie get their food. And in the video, they basically ditch Jack. They've called for a car. So they've called for a ride. And they get their food. And then they run to the car and jump in the car. And they're off. Now, Jack walks 
off in the same direction, but he actually walks to the right rather than going the same direction that the girls are going. <clears throat> so once Jack turns this corner and goes around this building, we don't really know where Jack went at that point. But Jack S. has been with these girls all night in what appears to be an, un an uninvited situation. He doesn't seem to be, he doesn't seem to be welcome. It doesn't seem like these girls are making him part of the group or part of their evening. He just kind of seems to be hanging around. It, it's, it, it is kind of strange. Now, Jack S., in my opinion, would be a very important person in this case because he, he was really the only person that was out that night with Kaylee and Maddie just hours before their lives were taken. You know, other than the driver that drove them home, Jack S. was the last person outside of this house to see Kaylee and Maddie alive. So Jack S., in my opinion, would be a very important person to look at. Now, he was cleared. Jack S. was cleared quickly, within days. I, I just don't understand. He must have had a pretty solid alibi for them to clear him that quickly. He was still out and about at the same time that Kaylee and Maddie were out and about. So did Jack S. just go home and go straight to bed? Or... Did he go somewhere where there were people who could vouch for him that he was there? It just seems like it, it would be difficult because you don't have that alibi that, well, I was at home all night or, you know, I wasn't in the city that night or, or whatever because he is on all of this footage with Maddie and Kaylee. So to me, Jack S. is a very important person in this investigation. It, so it's strange that he was just, he was cleared so quickly. I definitely want to look more into all of this because if you, if you, if you research Jack S.'s background, there's some really questionable information there. There's some really odd stuff going on there. I think it's 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 definitely worth looking into because like I said, he he was the last person other than the driver to see Kaylee and Maddie alive outside of this house. I think that's very important. I'm definitely going to look more into this and possibly do a video just kind of focusing on, on this and on how Jack S. connects to all of this. Now, beginning in November, I am going to be getting on here live. I feel like Going live is a great opportunity to bounce ideas off of one another and to kind of talk to one another and, you know, put our heads together and uh, be able to share ideas more in real time. So be looking out for that in November. Um, I've, got a, I've got a lot of things coming up with this channel. I do... The Idaho 4 crime isn't the only crime that I've researched. I've researched many crimes before the Idaho 4 crimes. And eventually I will start, I will begin talking about these crimes. 
Now, right now, I'm focusing on the Idaho 4 crimes, mainly because these crimes are what motivated me to even start this channel. I started this channel because of these crimes. For the last 10 months, or since, you know, last November, when these crimes occurred, I've watched this case very closely. I've researched a lot about this case. And I feel like as time goes by, the less and less sense that the details in this case make. And I felt like I have very a very unique background and very unique experiences, which is why I approach these crimes in the way that I do. So I'm going to be talking about more crimes, but right now I'm focusing on the Idaho 4 crimes mainly because I felt so compelled to, to share information and talk about information about this case because it's a very confusing crime and it's a very confusing investigation. So we're definitely going to be talking about this a lot more and I want to say thank you to everybody who comments and everybody who likes my videos and subscribes to my videos. I really do appreciate it. And like I said, I've got a lot coming up with this channel and uh, I've got a lot of information to share. So thanks again and we'll see you next time.